Hello everyone, Oli Gamer Boy is here. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to play Xbox app games such as Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Horizon 4, and EA play games such as Need for Speed Heat on a PS4 controller using DS4 for Windows. The first thing is to pair the PS4 controller using Bluetooth. Go to search, type Bluetooth, click Bluetooth and other devices settings, click add Bluetooth or other devices, click Bluetooth, press and hold the share and the PlayStation button, wait for the light to blink, once you get this blinking light, hopefully the computer discover the PSO controller, click wireless controller input let it connect and if you get your device is ready to go click done and close the bluetooth and other devices window the next step is to download ds4 windows and its drivers needed open google chrome enter ds4 windows click this link do not click this other link this other link is fake Click drivers, the first thing we have to install that, very important. Click the VGEM bus driver, this is the most important thing needed for the things to work. Click VGEM bus setup x64, let it download. Click VGEM bus setup x64 MSI, accept the terms in the license agreement. Click install. Once you get this done, click finish. Then we can now download the actual DS4 Windows. Click download. Click this download button. Once done downloading, Open up the zip file, drag and drop DS4 windows on the desktop, let it copy, this will take some time, close DS4 windows, open DS4 windows, then scroll down to get DS4 windows, open that. Click start. If you have issues, you can always close and open DS4 windows again. As you can see, now my PSO controller is de detected already. Now you can minimize DS4 for windows and close the DS4 windows folder. Now open the game. I'll be opening Forza Horizon 5 to test that it works with Xbox Game Pass game or Xbox app game. Let it open. Alright, I managed to load Forza Horizon 5 successfully. I can show you the PS4 controller now works with Forza Horizon 5. Press this circle key for b x for a square for x triangle for y now i press this key to go back press this key again to go back i press the right trigger and this thumbstick the left thumbstick to steer the right thumbstick to show the camera options to go back to menu the left button and right button should work. B is working fine. Now press the options key to go back. I can show you it's working. Press left for break or reverse. Press this X for e break. It worked fine already. I really hope you enjoy my tutorial video. 
please like and share my video comment on my video subscribe to my channel and please do check out my twitch my twitch channel link will be in the description below and see you live or on next video